of course. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Power of the Force Friday. This time I decided, you know, after missing a week or two, I can't remember, it might have been just a week. Um, I need to make sure I've got one of these videos ready to go every Friday, so I decided to go back and go to my very, very first figure I ever got as a kid, and it is, of course, the Mighty Chewbacca. Still one of my favourite uh, in my entire collection, uh, just, just for nostalgia purposes, and that's the whole purpose for these videos, is nostalgia for the Power of the Force line from the 90s. Um, so yeah, I think, I believe he is missing a weapon, but we are here to consult with the Star Wars Ultimate Action Figure Collection by Steven Sanswick. So I'll do my best to sort of just flick straight through to, uh, the Chewbacca figs. And I assume there's probably going to be quite a lot in here. So there's all the clones. Count Dooku. So it must come under, it must come before the clones. Alright, we're going to do this the old way and use the index. 58 to 125. So yeah, C ends at 125, so we'll go to the start. 58, there we have it. Chewbacca. Enormous, enormous range of action figures that have come out for Chewie over the years, even more so since this book. There we have him at the top there. No, he does only come with the Bowcaster. So, and there is the, uh, the original Kenner one. And there is the original Kenner one tattooed to my arm. See, it says, although Chewie is at least a head taller than Darth Vader, both figures in this line are about the same height in the earliest release. The bandolier strap was glossy. So there you go. That is the uh, first release of Chewbacca since the Kenner days. And uh, yeah, there was just something about Chewie that, I don't know, I love this figure. I just, I just really, really love this figure. Um, recently got a bunch of clear stands from a pair of the Force figures. Uh, a few more short, but, uh, you know, that's cool. Um, again, he does sort of look buff, but it kind of works for Chewie because he's a, uh, big heaving pile of muscle anyway. But yeah, he does look a little bit short in comparison to some of the other characters. Doesn't have much of a sort of a neck, but, uh, hey, it's Chewie. It's awesome. He does have his, uh, Bowcaster here, which is a little bit, you know, stylized for the power of the force. But it's still cool. It's still very, very cool. I do love it a lot. But yeah, this is this is the guy that uh, pretty much got me started on Star Wars back in 95, 96, around that time, you know, when these figures were coming out. This was 95, this was one of the uh, initial releases back in back in the day. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a great looking figure. I like the uh, the bandolier that's sort of sculpted on there nicely. Look at the Wookiee bum. But yeah, I used to I used to take my Chewie. This isn't my original, sadly, um, but you know it's still it still gives me the nostalgia. I still bought a new one. Um, carded it and opened it up much like my childhood one but uh you know it doesn't make any difference to me it probably have a little bit more nostalgia the figure itself um so one of my earliest figures was r2d2 as well and i still do have my original um whereas this one sadly is not but uh still all the same you know i used to take my figure in the sand pit and used to climb trees with me i used to t just We've got so much playtime out in the backyard as a kid. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still very, very f fond of this figure. So, um, yeah, next week I'm going to go to my other first figure. And if you've been following me on YouTube for long enough, you'll probably know the backstory behind 
uh, my power of the force collecting days as a kid um, what happened to all my initial collectibles and uh, you know very well that this one was the first figure along with another so we're going to kick off next week with my other first figure um, super iconic I'm sure you can probably guess but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it and then then I might take a little step into something a little bit more you know askew um, you know, I started off with Farm Boy Luke, so now we're doing Chewbacca this week. And, uh, yeah, then we might just start looking at some odds and ends, some random characters and aliens from the Power of the Force 2 line. And, uh, yeah, we'll eventually get into some sort of other vehicles and bits and pieces like that. So, I'm really, really looking forward to jumping back in after only getting one episode out. So, thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoyed this video. May the force be with you, always.